This may seem kind of far-fetched, but I'm thinking about turning my living room into a studio, but not really like a studio. I'll put up on the screen kind of like the example of what I'm thinking of. I have not exactly measured out how big this area is, but my idea is what if this wall was like whole white backdrops that came all the way down here and then each side was like soft boxes and then the camera was set up there. It seems like a stretch, but at the same time, it seems kind of realistic. So I think I'm just gonna order the stuff and try it out anyway. That way I have like a guaranteed space to shoot kosher related stuff like product shoes or even just models from a different backdrop. So kind of changed the direction of how the photos are looking on the page and kind of opens up the room for a lot of other opportunities for photography too. I'll keep you guys in the loop. I'm thinking about ordering that stuff in the next couple of days. I kind of want to order like the correct things, the correct lights, the correct backdrops and all the other stuff that I haven't done any research on. So I have literally been editing from 7 a.m. this morning. It is now 1 p.m. So finally about to take a break and do one of the three things I do when I take a break from editing, which is either go to the gym eat food or take Instagram pics and right now I need an Instagram pic so I just want 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 we actually went downtown and got a couple pics. I didn't vlog it because I'm just a terrible vlogger and you guys should know that by now. But we're across town right now, about to go get some walk bars, get some food, my boy. And um, what I'm actually gonna do is take you guys through how I edit my Instagram photos. I remember screen recording an editing session the other day of my last Instagram post. So instead of just showing you guys us out shooting, I'm actually gonna take you through the entire process of like before I upload. And um, maybe one day I'll edit one of his pics. I have a lot of, I told you, I got a lot of dope pics of him because I'm actually putting together a bunch of like albums and stuff for this new website that I'm working on for my media company so you guys will be seeing a lot of his face on there because I shoot with him a lot and they're always flames but we're about to go get some walks box right now because I'm starving so yeah let's get it question question here when you guys go to a fast food restaurant do you guys tip at the fast food restaurant. This is what that's a good one. I think Subway now has the tip option. I'm kind of confused because like I'm paying for you to make the sandwich. <laughs> so I'm just like, what am I tipping for? Did you tip today? No. No? No man. I already I already paid for you to make this shit. I'm like, why do I have to Tip. Like, do you keep this tip or like who keeps this tip, you know? Like, I need to see some better quality food if I'm tipping. Yeah, yeah. It's like, are you gonna bring this out to me? Like, like no, no. Like, you're gonna make this, you're gonna put it right there. Like, I'm gonna go grab it. Like, I'm not like... That's exactly how I feel about it, so... Drive it on the floor I can't hold you down, just let me know I just need to see I feel like this vlog is turning into like a foodie vlog right now. Danny's back in town and he was saying that lens is clean it is, I know Damn. the bouquet is crazy wait, it's, wait, wait, it's crazy no. <laughs> you're, supposed, you're supposed to be like get up off relax me. he's ruling the plans right now and he wants to come to Denny so we're hitting up Denny's me, Danny, Patty Lifts of course the Denny's here I was actually going to try to head to Patty's house at this point in the vlog so it's kind of funny that this, this worked out bro I got the prime rib Benny not the omelet the Benny bro the almost trash. Let me just say, if you go to Denny's and you get prime rib, it's not ideal, but it's not bad. Okay, I used to come here every day and get probably like three days a week with Pat. Sometimes we'd be like here like all the time. And I would get the Philly cheesesteak on it. When I say that Philly cheesesteak, that steak, it could have been from Walmart's freezer section. Oh. This comes from the guy who thinks that Nancy is this guy. Pizza. The Nancy is gross. I've taken three people from America to Genesis and it's one of the best pieces they've ever had in town. Piece of studio. That's facts. I hope you enjoy your prime rib. Yo, this guy got prime rib literally like eight times and he's disappointed every time in the omelet and he complained every time expecting the something same. different. I got the same. I got the Benny once and I like it and I know it tastes good. Don't get the omelet, get the Benny. It's people be sick tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to restock these hats in like probably two to four weeks. So I'm going to do a poll because I want to do hat colors that you guys actually want me to restock. So I'm probably either going to do the black hats and like one more other color. So either navy or beige. What do you think? Plug? <laughs> plug? <laughs> yes, yes. Is, where else am I gonna plug it? <laughs> this isn't a plug. It's like, it's, it's us, guys. It's fair. It's fair. I got so many people on YouTube who are following me on Instagram. So make sure you like, 
No. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that in the next month, and then along with that, I'll probably do some hoodies. I don't know if those will line up together, but they'll come around the same time. So, yeah, I'm hyped for that. Boogie with the hoodie. Hey, boogie with the hoodie. Okay. Yeah, I get back at the bag, oh, yeah, Saint Laurent, go yard. So I'm just getting to this part of the video editing, and I realize I haven't even gone over the main topic of the video, which is how I edit my Instagram photos. When I go through the screen recording, I'm kind of going to go through it as if you guys know how to use Lightroom. I'm not going to explain what everything in Lightroom does. So this is mainly for the people who know how to use Lightroom and kind of follow along in a screen recording, and kind of get the gist of what I'm trying to say and how I achieve the style that I achieve with these certain photos. Usually the first thing I do when I'm editing photos is just get the exposure right. This one was a pretty underexposed photo. So the first thing I did was go to lens correction, turn that on, get that right, and then I play with my shadows, play with my exposure and whites to make sure the photo is just like balanced well. I'll usually have my whites a little lower to kind of give the whites a faded look. And then with the clarity, I won't go over 10 with the vibrance, I'll usually not go below 20 and not go higher than 10. With my tone curves, I'll usually have like a simple S curve and then I'll just give it a little bit of contrast and then I'll just boost the white slightly on the tone curve. With my HSL, it's like really random depending on the picture, but right now I'm going for a theme on my page. So I'll have my yellows pull and I'll have my greens kind of going towards a more greener side than the yellow side. So they're going to be moving towards the right on the HSL gram. Blues will probably be more of a teal color with like a little more luminance added to it. You can see here, I'm actually trying to match the photo up to my old Instagram photo. So I'll just play around with that a little bit, try to find the right color for the photo. And then once I find that, I just kind of keep moving on with the basic corrections. And then I'll move on and try and get my blacks correct and get my shadows correct to kind of match my last photo so that I have that theme continuing on the page. The next thing I'm doing is something a little more extreme that usually people won't do, but I usually go like ham when I'm editing Instagram photos, like not on my face, but with the photo itself. So here you'll see me like highlighting all of the white in the image so that I can actually take the yellow out of it and actually increase the exposure on only that part of the image. I feel like that's a little extra, but it does help a little bit extra for me to achieve that look that I'm going for, which is more white than yellow and just brighter only on the whites. I do something extreme again with the ground. I actually highlight the ground. I kind of do the same thing I was doing with the wall. And I'm actually just trying to match the ground up with the photo on the left. Obviously, I know it's not going to be exact with these photos that I'm trying to match it up with, but that's kind of like my idea is to kind of get the photo as similar as possible to my last Instagram post. But that's the idea here is to like edit the photo side by side so that you can get things to be exact. And that'll kind of tie all the photos together, whether the color colors are different. So if I had any tips on how I achieve the theme on my Instagram, I would probably say that the vibrance is a huge thing. Usually all of my photos will have minus 20 vibrance and that kind of creates this more true tone desaturation. Cause if you were to go minus 20 on the saturation tool, you kind of take away from the skin tones, take away from the liveliness of the photos. It's kind of weird how they both are the same, but they work completely different. But that's like my rule of thumb, minus 15, minus 20 on the vibrance. I usually have my whites crash down below zero. So minus 40 even extreme like minus 60 sometimes to get that faded look. All of my blacks are usually consistent because I'll edit them side by side. And then when it comes to color, obviously you can see that I'm going for more of a neutral color in the image. So all my yellows will be pulled out. My blues, I try to keep the same and my greens, I'll just try to keep the same. So these tips are like fully different for everyone. This is how I'm kind of achieving the look on my Instagram. I usually edit everybody's photos differently. As you saw in the clip, I don't even use any presets or anything like that. I'll usually take the first photo from each slot and I'll kind of paste that on the rest of the photos. I guess you could consider that a preset, but I don't use like made up presets and slap them on photos. I usually do everything from scratch as you saw in this video. I've been doing more fitness related content lately and I'll be getting a good response from that. So let me know if you guys want more videography, photography, content, and I'll make sure to slowly start including those again. I'm going to end the video right here. If you are new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. I'll point if I'm a crew, yeah. My personal